Well, wearing a mask that covers your full face could soon be banned once again in Charleston. This is an ordinance that was appealed during the COVID-19 pandemic. News 2's Sophia Radebaugh spoke with police about what this could mean for people in the city of Charleston. The city of Charleston has had a mask ordinance in place since the 1970s, but now police say it's time to update it. For the past several years, masks mean this tools to protect us from COVID and other diseases. But a different kind of mask is causing issues in Charleston. Just somebody wearing like a full ski mask like you would wear at Halloween time or to dress up or in the Halloween movies. Captain Jason Bretter with the Charleston Police Department says full face mask coverings are becoming more popular. I mean, I personally watched a guy um, completely all masked up, stuff coming in his entire face, just like little eye holes cut off, walk into a bank. And I wonder if that's about to be a robbery or not. So I waited and see and everything was fine. An ordinance was passed in the 1970s to ban them in the city of Charleston. The last time it was revised was in 1975. Mm -hmm. So clearly times have changed <laughs> um, and it was really suspended um, during COVID because we wanted people wearing masks. Brutter says the loosened requirements for the type of masks worn during COVID need to be reined back in within the ordinance now that COVID restrictions have been lifted. The N95 mask or a, a surgical type mask would be, be appropriate, but not a full face covering or something like a hockey mask that covers your complete identity. And if you're caught wearing one, Brutter says the consequences could mean a payment and jail time. Well, this is a municipal ordinance, so the most it could do is a uh, $1,000-ish fine and 30 days in jail. The mask ordinance revisions will be presented to the Public Safety Committee tonight, and then City Council will go through the first reading tomorrow night in Charleston. Sophia Radebaugh, count on two.